And this brings me to the second of the challenges of multiculturalism, perhaps the most important challenge of all, keeping the peace. Unfortunately, the fact of cultural diversity is not always seen as a positive element of society. We have seen through history, and particularly recent history, cultural differences being escalated into violence and conflict between two groups. Very often these differences escalate not on the actual differences, but the perceived differences, if we can distinguish between the two. When the process of multiculturalism is a failure, is unsuccessful, it can often be in a very drastic and violent way. Multiculturalism succeeds, as I often like to put it in class discussions. For me, the success of multiculturalism is when people aren't killing each other, or at least not in large numbers, in sustained or organized ways. A successful multicultural society, a peaceful multicultural society, needs to find ways of preventing discourses of grievance, discourses of difference, becoming excuses for violence and the breakdown of the social values that keep society, that keep the people within society together. A successful multicultural process needs to find means by which differences are viewed as positive and not as negative, no matter how those differences may have arisen. The multicultural nightmare is when things go wrong. The process has to avoid that nightmare. For this, I talk about the idea of sustainable cultural diversity. For me, multiculturalism is not just a celebration or even an acknowledgement of difference. There's much more to multiculturalism or the processes of multiculturalism than that. For multiculturalism to work, it needs to do so sustainably. A society needs to be able to sustain its differences, to recognize those differences in a sustainable and progressive manner. And this requires a policy and a program of difference, a policy or a program of multiculturalism. There are many ways in which this can be done, and I go back to the idea of multiculturalism as a process that needs to be understood within particular context. What works in one situation a particular policy that works in one situation might not work somewhere else. But there needs to be some form of state management of differences for the state to keep the various parts which come under its government, under its governmentality, in a form of peaceful coexistence. For me, multiculturalism is first and foremost that state management of differences in whatever guise, whatever form it might particularly take. In the UK, for example, it needs all parties, all groups, all different factions, and there are many, many different levels of difference within any country. But here in the UK, it needs all parties to think of themselves as being within that multicultural context. To think that historically, this country has come to be diverse, to have diverse elements, and that those diverse elements are not a matter of resentment, are not a matter of fear, and potential cause of conflict. Instead, the differences that there are in the society are firstly a given. They're not something that can easily be removed or leveled out. And secondly, they are potentially a form of advantage for the society, not disadvantage. Now that has to be worked out, and I'll come on to some of those issues of how that can be worked out and addressed um, as I talk through these, these points about the challenges of multiculturalism but it needs state management of those differences in order to achieve that. It cannot be left to the local level. It cannot be left to just individuals and the various groups themselves to sort out or to live with their differences. The state has to have a particular role in the governmentality of differences. And sometimes that can be a positive issue, and sometimes that is a not-so-positive issue, particularly when the state, as we saw in certain contexts, such as the former Yugoslavia, such as Rwanda, Um, and other countries where the state was actually encouraging differences, was in many ways encouraging the breakdown of multicultural and the coexistence of cultural difference within the society. So it wasn't managing, it was dividing. One means by which a state can do this is to encourage its citizens, its people, to recognize difference, to have a contract of difference with all parts of the society, for people in that society to feel that they belong because of their differences as much as their similarities. 
a point which um, is worked out in different cultural contexts or national contact in various ways. 